this video we'll be recreating this effect in a nice simple to follow tutorial. Let's get started. I only recently learned this myself, so I thought I'd share it. So let's delete the default cube, put that in a plane, scale it up like so. Let's add in a UV sphere. Uh, move that off to the yeah, move that off to the side. I'm gonna scale my sphere down and move it up a little. Now that we have that, I'm gonna add in a Bezier curve. I'm gonna scale it up a little, little ever so, a little larger than the plane. And then I'm gonna hide the hide the plane, select the UV sphere and the curve, Control P, and then follow path. Now, now our sphere should should uh, follow the curve. So if we um, let's change our end frame here to 60. And within here, let's change our path animation. Make sure that's checked if yours doesn't work. Frames to 60. <clears throat> and it should go a little faster. Sweet. So basically that's how many frames it's gonna take for the UV sphere to get to one end to the other, the curve. Now, let's unhide that and select the UV sphere. Go into physics and press dynamic paint, type brush, add brush, and then here we're gonna change the color to white. And just like that, and actually, there we go. Now the color's white. Um, change the source to mesh volume and proximity, so it's not just the intersection. And dynamic paint for the plane, add canvas. Change the format to image sequence, resolution to 1046, 1046, frame start, frame end, sub steps, three. Uh, if you're getting dots, like a dotty pattern, increase the sub steps, especially if your brush is going fast, so faster your brush, more sub steps. Um, your surface pane, that should be all fine. And output, we want to choose our cache area, so I'm going to save my cache to here. And I'm going to UV map. So before we do anything, let's um, subdivide our plane a few times. Yeah, that should be okay. And you unwrap. And now we have a UV map of our plane. And in our brush settings, actually, let's change our distance to 0 0.1. And uh, select the plane or the canvas and bake. Wait, so select the plane or the canvas and go in under UV map within output to change it to the, the unwrap you just did. And bake image sequence. Okay, it is finished baking. And uh, now for the, the second part, which is going into your modifier settings, adding in a displacement modifier, changing the texture to new, and just name this tracks. After you do that, go into the texture settings, make sure it's image or movie, and open. This way you wanna open all the images within where you baked the, uh, the image sequence. Now that should open nicely, like so, and as you can see, we do have a bit of displacement happening, but it's not in the right area. So we have to go down to mapping and change this to clip, and that'll get rid of that. And we need it to be uh, along the UV texture coordinate and assigning the UV map, like so. Uh, we can change that strength to negative 0.1. That's a little better. And um, let's add a subdivision surface modifier. Shade smooth. And um, there we go, we have, our, we have our track, like so. And uh, that's, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. I'm gonna actually scale my, my sphere up a little so it fits nicely. And um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Now all you gotta do is put it in a render. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this different style of video, 